Hey guys, Chad with Pure Media Systems. Today we're out at one of our returning customers. Um, he wanted us to run a couple more lines here. So um, he wants uh, a new Ethernet cable um, right behind his TV in his bedroom. So what we're um, doing here, I'm going to show you um, it's just a, one additional line and we'll show you what we did before here. But I'm going to flip the camera around so you can see. So customer wants the uh, outlet right here because uh, it's going to right behind his TV. So this is actually on an exterior wall uh, right here, and it's uh, not going to be possible to get a uh, line down the wall without cutting in um, a access panel right here because we're going to have to go up. There's only uh, about an inch or two um, between there and the roof line, which the customer doesn't want to cut an access hole, understandably. So instead, uh, we're going to be able to go uh, through the outside um, and go up through the soffit. So I'm going to show you that here. So, zoom out a little bit. So, we're going to uh, come up through the soffit, go down the wall through here, and go right through the wall. So, we're, um, you can see this is um, the roof line is just really difficult to work with here. So, we're going to show you that process, the tools we use, so you can see how to do it um, if you want to do it on your own um, at home or if you want to hire us to come out and do it. We are in the Dallas area, uh, the DFW area. Um, right now we are in Plano, Texas, um, running this cable. So we're going to show you this process. All right, guys, so what we're going to do here, we're actually going to be locating the, um, we're going to be using our labor saving devices template, which we've got here. This is a, you can see it, this is a uh, single gain on this side, as well as we use the whole thing. It is actually a double gain template for, with, as you can see, the levels for both orientation for landscape and vertical, horizontal and vertical orientation. Makes it a lot easier instead of having to trace a gain box, uh, we can, this is the exact same size as uh, any retro or uh, retro gain boxes here. So we're going to uh, find our studs so we know where we're going to put it. We want it the same height as the electrical outlet, so we're going to measure um, to the center of the electrical outlet, and so we know where to put the gang, uh, the template here. From there, we're going to use the magnet spot to locate on the other side of the brick, uh, the other side of the wall, so that we can drill through. So, take our stud finder. Okay, so in here, turn the light on. We know that we are at 11 and a half inches, so we're going to go over here and mark 11 and a half inches. And for these, the center is the top of the level in this orientation. So we're going to mark right here. So I'm going to show you the magnet spot here. So now that we have our hole nicely cut, the magnet spot, as you can see here, we're going to flip the switch on. And we have another piece here. So hit the button on. And if on this side of the wall, we bring it nice and close. And you can see as you get closer to the center, it uh, lights up all the arrows. You know where you're at. And it beeps pretty annoyingly. So if you tap that off, it uh, won't beep anymore, but you can see as you get closer. And then when you're there, you can go right through the center. See right the light right through and mark where you need to go. Mark your target right through. So we're going to be placing the this end right in here. And then we're going to go on the outside on the brick and locate where we need to go.
So we know where we need to go. We've marked our spot here. So what we're going to do is we're going to be taking our uh, masonry bit here and using our hammer drill. So these rigid drills um, have a option here. So you've got a drill, screw, and hammer. So we're going to flip it over to hammer. Side of this door frame uh, in the brick, not in the actual door frame itself, so that it's not interfering with um, the entryway into the door um, and it keeps it away from the outside elements as well, um, just any interference. So, we're going to, of course, start with finding studs or any other interference here. So we know where we're going to go. And we're going to take our fiber rod. We have a magnet on this, like you've seen us use this before. Uh, we've got, along with our magnet spot, we have magnet pole and other utilities uh, we can use with this. So this these fiber rods is another labor-saving device uh, from labor-saving devices. Um, these are three-foot sections um, and with threads, uh, male studs, as well as uh, female threads on the other end. So we can extend these um, up to, uh, we've got eight lengths of uh, three feet. So we can um, attach these as long as we need to. What I like to do is that I do most of the work myself here. Um, so I can shove this up in the attic and find it in the attic and pull it through. All right, so now that we have the cable run, uh, we're going to uh, be tacking it all the way down here. We're going to be using uh, cable clamps, um, like so. Uh, we're going to be drilling into the brick as well as into the uh, wood soffit up here. I always like to put some service loop up in the attic here, so just a couple feet just in case anything is needed in the future. So I've got two drills. One I have the drill bit into, goes around my belt. The other one uh, has the bit to screw in the clamps, so I don't have to be changing in and out the, the bits every single time I need to do something. We're going to put up again another service loop uh, inside the wall here. Um, we always just like to have extra, a little bit extra cable 
Um, just, again, just in case something happens, you just never know if something's going to get cut somewhere at some point in time. It's always just good to have a little bit of excess. So we're going to cut a length of this. That should be good. And we're going to be terminating into uh, with the wire path. This is the WP-CAT6-RJ45-WH. These come in a variety of different colors. Um, if you're if you're needing anything like this, one in brown, black, some blue, various different colors, white, almond, um, let us know. We can have these uh, sent to you as well. Uh, Wirepath also makes a really nice uh, crimper and uh, cutter all in one. Uh, it's a punch down tool as well as uh, cutter all in one. It saves a lot of time. So we also use the EZ-RJPRO-HD uh, from Platinum Tools. We're going to, this is the, a crimper as well as a stripper uh, for their, um, their EZ um, crimper, crimp, uh, mail connectors. So we always do check to make sure that uh, we don't overstrip it because it can happen, stuff happens. Um, but uh, when you use the same cable over and over again, same uh, length of cable, uh, you get pretty good at uh, knowing the how far in to go. So we're going to cut off the, um, the uh, fiber that goes through there, the string, as well as the, divide, the plastic divider. A, uh, you want to unwind the, uh, the four pairs in here. You have white with orange, orange, white with green, green, uh, white with brown, brown, and white with blue, blue. Of course, um, there's an A and a B standard. Most people do B standard now, which is what we do. Uh, pro tip, use the, if you use a uh, stripper like this, um, you get the, the length of the sleeve. You can use that to put in between the cables or the wires and you just twist it and it unravels them, untwists them. So we don't want to over untwist them because um, you don't want to, you want to leave them in, in their, uh, as tight as possible in their, in their twist rate. So we're going to do that. Open up our connector, and uh, as you can see here, uh, there we go. We can see uh, there's an A and a B standard, so we're going to go with the B standard, which, by the way, is different on every different kind of connector. So, uh, or different brands of connectors go in a different pattern for um, B on their connectors. In the male ends, they're always the same. So we try to do the twist patterns because they're for damage to the steel. Um, Just always double check. We're good. So we're going to take our wire path crimper or punch down here and we just Push it down, collect all the wires, and it's that easy. We're all crimped. So what we're gonna do now is go terminate on the other side um, and test it when we're good. And then we'll uh, button all this up and seal everything and be good to go. All right, so we've tested the cable, certified gigabit. There's no issues in between. Uh, you measure it's about 125 feet. So we know how much uh, cable we used. So we're gonna put the end caps on it. We're gonna put the gang box in the wall uh, and uh, button everything up. Yeah. All right, so we've got uh, the new wall plate with the ethernet port here, right outside the door. We've got see the cable how we've got it sealed with silicone coming up nicely tucked right inside uh, the door frame there and right up and uh, it is also sealed with silicone there a uh, whole slightly larger than the cable uh, so we can feed it through with magnets because like I said we could only get um, I was about right over here it's as far over as I can get with the roof line uh, physically so I use uh, fiber rods and magnets so we're going to uh, get the other end buttoned up in the on wall rack and we'll show you everything that we did in there as well um, so you can see what we've got here. This is the uh, 
SR Vertical Rack Series from Strong. Uh, so you can see we like to use Strong Racks, as you've seen in our other videos. But uh, this is a really nice uh, the customer already had a uh, um, you know gigabit switch for uh, from Cisco for rack mounting, as well as some uh, rack mounted uh, uh, surge protector and a UPS. Uh, and he's actually using Google Wi-Fi here, so we've actually got that mounted it on the wall outside of the. Uh, rack so that the rack does, since it's a metal cage doesn't interfere with anything. We've got all the cables and nice service loop in here um, The uh, Spectrum modem everything coming through a brush plate here um, As well as we put a, a cool components active uh, fan here for active cooling. So this is a um, 5u uh, rack, excuse me. This is the uh, 5u. They have a 3u, 5u and 7u uh, wall mounted rack. So uh, you see we've, we've allowed some space here. This uh, piece can be moved up and down so that the height of the um, the points where the uh, components get mounted uh, can go up or down. Uh, the sides here have uh, for cables and cooling as well. Uh, and it has a, um, a uh, cover here as well with a, a door on the top. So you can see there's a key right here and the door opens on the top. So uh, we're going to throw that on and show you what it looks like with uh, with everything off of it, or with the uh, door on. All right, so this is mounted inside of a uh, spare closet here. Uh, you can see we've got everything here, the uh, top locks, so that people can't get into it. Um, this is just a nice and spare closet um, somewhere if you've got this sort of equipment. Um, instead of doing an in-wall panel like you've seen us do a number of times, uh, this uh, is just another solution we want to make you aware of, of uh, this sort of thing. All right, so if you're needing a system like this, please don't hesitate to reach out. Uh, we are Pure Media Systems. We're located in the Dallas-Fort Worth area in Texas. Uh, right now, we this install is in Plano, Texas. We are authorized dealers uh, for components like Strong, uh, as well as all these other components you've seen us use. We don't have uh, Amazon affiliates or anything like that because we are actually the retailer for these products. So if you're wanting the products, there's not going to be a link to go purchase them. You just contact us at sales at puremediasystems.com or uh, call 972-905-0556. I will have that right down here at the bottom so that you can contact us and we can have all these products shipped to you if you're needing anything like this for your home or office. Um, please don't hesitate uh, to call us for any services you may need. Uh, home audio, video, media rooms, networking, surveillance, uh, automation with a lawn or control four, uh, really anything else that you're needing. Um, please don't forget to subscribe if you're uh, enjoying our videos and click that bell icon to get notified of future videos. Thanks guys.